Hey, what's up my BGA crew? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Big Guy Appetite. And today you guys, I'm gonna be eating some delicious homemade ceviche tostadas. Now I did make a video on my ceviche recipe on my second channel, BGA Vlogs. I will drop a link to that video in the description box below. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and get started because I am still wowing. Father, I ask that you bless this meal in the hands that prepared it. May you provide for those going without. Heal, bless, protect, and provide for all of my BGA crew and everyone watching, my friends and family, all of those going through something, Lord. Help them, bless them in your precious heavenly name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Oh my gosh. Oh my way. You guys, I am so hungry. Like I said, I did make um, a recipe video on this recipe. This is, well, you can't really see it right now, but... You'll see when I serve myself, this ceviche is so good. Now, this ceviche is estilo cocktail. So I add all the stuff I would add to like my cocktail, the camarón, uh, clamato and all that stuff. And the shrimp is cooked. Like I actually cooked the shrimp, not in lime juice. I cooked it on the stove top. So if you guys wanna learn how to make it, go watch it on my second channel. <laughs> oh man look at this guys oh look at all that juicy juice or whatever oh let me let me give y'all a close-up look at that oh my gosh oh you guys this is about to go down it's about to be crazy i don't know i'm eating probably like 20 tostadas right now that's how bad I'm craving this. Ooh. So we got that McCormick Lime Mayo on deck. Oh, Lord. Ooh, baby. Baby, baby. If I spread you like this on top of my tostadas, you about to taste real creamy and I look. Okay, let me shut up because I don't sound correct. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, look at this features. Oh, and we're going to use, so these tostadas, you guys already know. These are my favorite, Los Dos Arbolitos. These are found at En Rey de los Ostiones. Shout out to them. And also my new favorite salsa, El Gallo. Also exclusively. At in Rey de los Osdiones. Oh man. Oh man. Ooh, let's get into it, baby. Look at this. Y'all, look at that. Ooh. Hold on. Let's pile on this sucker a little bit bigger. Uh huh. Oh yeah. All right, let's go. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. I love my recipe if I do say so myself. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Wow. So refreshing. Mm. This is perfect for this summer heat. 
Wow. 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 Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my way. Oh. If you guys make this re if you guys make this recipe, let me know. Tag me on um on Instagram. Oh man. And let me know what you think about it. Honest, honest opinion. I want cheddar. Mm. And I love when my ceviche like this has like a lot of juice. Oh yeah. Lots of juguito. Okay, we're using salsa aguachilera de chiltepin. Why? Because we can. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. Mmm. You know what I want to make that I haven't made in a long time? Uh, tosti ceviche. Mm hmm I want to get a big bag of tostitos Sansa Verde. Mm. And drown it. In ceviche. Mm. Also, too, something that I wanted to talk about. I just, uh, I follow a couple of these, these pages on IG. Um. It just seems like lately there is such a uprise in crime against street vendors. I'm like, oh my God, like food, street vendors. I'm like, what is going on? What is with the attack on these people that are just trying to make a living you know, just like everybody else trying to survive in this horrible world. And then you got crazy psycho animals out here wreaking havoc on all of them. I'm like, live and let live, people. Dang. I don't understand it. I do not understand it one bit. But. We have to protect them at all costs. You know. The sad thing about it. Too. Is that. Half the time, these street vendors are little, you know, um, helpless, elderly, or, you know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. Like, why are you picking on someone that can't defend themselves against, you know, someone younger or whatever? The one of the old guy that, that oh, the older gentleman, not too long ago, broke my heart. They attacked him physically. He was all swollen and bruised up. It made me want to cry. Because I'm like, you know, what if it was someone, one of my loved ones? You know what I mean? Some of you people like that, that have like this vendetta against them, you have to think about it. Like, put yourself in their shoes. What if it was your loved ones that someone's attacking? Like... You know what I mean? Have a heart. Have a heart. I'm sorry. Like, it's just crazy. And then, uh, I just seen another one, too. I guess seven months ago, these girls, these college students, went on a rampage on a street vendor 
who was selling hot dogs and the onions and all that, you know, grilled onions. That sounds delicious. And they were spitting on the food. They were grabbing it with their hands and eating it uh, and then putting it back, calling these people racial slurs. Or, or I think it was like a guy and a lady, if I'm not mistaken, or just a guy by himself. I don't know. But they were calling them racial slurs. And come to find out, one of the girls, her father is a detective in, um, I know in California, but I forgot where. And it's so crazy. She got away with it. Her and her friends got away with it scot-free. No consequences, no punishment. Well, like I said, this certain account on IG, this guy is an, uh, what do you call it, advocate for street vendors. And he did not let it slide. Doesn't matter if it was seven months ago. They went to the detective's house and were protesting outside. When... All of a sudden, like 20 cop cars, helicopter in the sky. I mean, they started to protect this detective. Like he, like they were violating these people, right? These people's right to protest this, you know, injustice. And when I say these people, I mean this group, these activists. And um, they started to put up yellow tape, protecting the house, telling them they couldn't protest in front of the house. Move them like five houses down the block, away from the home. But prior to the protest, this guy went down to the police station to file a complaint against a girl. And he was speaking to the dad. Once the officer, who was the father of the girl, heard, he immediately kicked the guy out of the, the police station. Like, what? He's like, ah, uh, okay, I heard enough. You gotta go. You gotta go. Are you telling me that family members of lawmakers, law uh, enforcers, officers can do whatever they want and not serve any consequences? That's crazy. Well, anyway, this guy was doing the protest and was filming it on live stream. And you can see, he was telling them, he's like, it's so crazy how you are protecting one of yours, but where are the police? when the vendors are attacked and this and that, you know? Another uh, neighbor had came out and he's like, it's so crazy to see all these cops and helicopters and everything. He's like, because on a weekly basis, we call in and try to file a complaint about people that speed crazy down their neighborhood. But yet the police always say, sorry, we can't do nothing about it. We don't have any resources. We don't have enough resources. He's like, you don't have enough resources for the general public, but yet when it comes to an officer, you guys literally shut the whole the whole little neighborhood down. Like, what the heck is going on? And uh, I mean, it just got wild. A lot of people showed up, neighbors started to come out, some neighbors turned against them. They turned against the neighbors, some guy hit one of the girls and the uh, police refused to arrest him at first, but then they were speaking with the megaphone and were like getting louder 
And they're like, you know, we need justice, da 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 And finally, towards the end, they end up arresting the guy that pushed one of the protesters. But uh, still, nothing has been heard or done about that girl. They vandalized his food. Um, and he was never, he never received an apology. He never got his, his supplies recompensated. You know what I mean? After spitting on his food, he had to throw all of that away. He couldn't sell that to the public. Oh, and supposedly, I didn't uh, hear exactly what, what he had posted, but supposedly they had went on his Facebook and this officer was posting, you know, just a lot of negative rhetoric against Hispanics. And um, yeah, they were calling him a bigot, all that stuff, so. It's crazy, man. Leave people alone. You know, leave people alone. Especially innocent, defenseless people that are just trying to do their job. Trying to make a living. That really bothers me. You know what I mean? Because I appreciate these vendors. Oh my God. I love when I see a elotero, a paletero, a hot dog stand. I'm like, oh my God. Honey, my fat ass be running to these people. I'm like, give it to me, Harry. I'll take three elotes. I'll take 10 tacos. Three hot dogs wrapped in bacon. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Y'all better stay tuned. Because me and my cousin are going to do that crazy one chip challenge very soon. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So refreshing and cold. What is that? Like, I just had one tostada, right? I think that was like one or two. Yeah. Definitely. I definitely didn't have more than two tostadas right now. Nope. Nope. Sure didn't. Nope. And I could never have my ceviche tostadas without mayo. Absolutely not. It's unheard of. But yeah. I don't know. I've just been hearing a lot about it. This uprising crime against these vendors and all that i'm just like oh my god leave these people alone let them do what they do how they do when they do or whatever <laughs> oh man mm. 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 oh yeah I don't understand how the basic of ingredients can be such such a delicious dish. Mm. So hydrating, refreshing.
and very inexpensive to make. It is so affordable to make this. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Can't waste that mayo. You know what I want to make too? Piña Viche. With habanero. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Right now, the pineapples are freaking huge and gorgeous. I'm gonna go get me a couple pineapples, Haney. Mm hmm. Does anywhere else other than Arizona have the store called El Super? Cause man, they be having some good deals on the um veggies and the fruit. Let me know. Does anywhere else other than Arizona do y'all have El Super? El Super. I want to know. Oh my god, it's running down my double chin. Oh my god. My double chin. Mm. Oh my god. And going back to the vendor talk. Some of my fondest memories are at some of these vendor stands. I remember I, you know, we'd leave the club or the bars, wherever we were drinking, and they always are outside establishments like that, you know? Ball games and nightclubs and all that, because drunk people got to eat too. And some of my fondest memories are surrounded around food vendors and grubbing. Especially in Rocky Point. Oh my god. Oh. And Rocky Point. All up and down the boardwalk. They're everywhere. And each one has something new or different to offer. Like this one lady. This one particular stand. Oh man. I looked for her every day while I was there for like a week and a half. I went to her every day. She had these hot dogs. I know it sounds complicated as heck. I don't know how she did it, but she did it. She had these hot dogs wrapped in bacon, fully cooked, crispy bacon, delicious. And then I don't know where she found jalapenos this size or if they were Anaheim peppers. I don't even remember half the time I was drunk. But they were big, huge, let's just say jalapeno peppers stuffed with cheese and she would put one end one on one end of the hot dog and the other end on the other end of the hot dog so basically it was like a jalapeno popper bacon wrapped hot dog right and you can either eat it like that low carb or she would put it in this fluffy mexican bun 
and then top it with whatever else you wanted crema cotija oh you guys when i tell you till this day here in the states i cannot find any hot dogs like that so shout out to all the food vendors thank you for sharing your creativity your your creative new recipes thank you for providing a service to our community you know and feeding us when we're inebriated or at ballparks or wherever the case whatever the case may be but thank you guys for providing that service you make it easy and convenient for us to grab something to eat from you guys and not have to go you know to a restaurant or order uber eats or whatever da 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 you know what I mean? So thank you to you guys and thank you for sharing your creative dishes. I truly, truly appreciate you and what you do in our community. Thank you. You are valued. Don't let all these crazy, sick in the head people out here deter you from doing you and what you love to do, making your living and providing a service for us. <clears throat> thank you so much. Continue to do what you do. And I love that a lot of these advocates especially like I said in California, they're setting up surveillance, like 24 hour security for a lot of these street vendors, a lot of the areas where the street vendors put their stands. You know, members of the community have gotten together to surveillance and be vigil vigilantes and protecting their community and their people that are, that are doing, you know, vending. So kudos to you guys for doing that, keeping them safe. Truly appreciate that. All right, let's drink this juice. Hold on, let's add a little bit more lemon juice, lime juice. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, we good. Mix it up. Mm, here we go. Um, oh. Dale, that was good. Whew. All right, baby. I only ate two or three little tostadas. I kept it very light today. I hardly ate. It didn't seem like I had an appetite at all. <laughs> if you guys do try this recipe, please tag me on IG at Big Guy Appetite. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. As always, a big thank you to my BGA crew for your love and support, your loyalty. I appreciate you. You mean the world to me. And a big thank you to all the new subscribers. I see you. Thank you for taking a chance on me. If you're new here and you're not yet a part of this amazing family, the BGA crew, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, besitos.